Hello and welcome to another CG tip. What I want to do in this video is share a simple technique for matching your IK arm to the FK arm and vice versa. Now this approach doesn't involve the use of any scripts and is quite simple to set up. With that said, keep in mind that this may not work on all rigs, so it will depend on how the rig is constructed. So here we have a basic FK arm rig. We can select the IK FK switch attribute up here and happily blend between an IK and FK arm. So nothing amazingly groundbreaking here. But if you want to see how this was created, feel free to head on over and watch my IK and FK video, which is part of the Rigging in Maya series. Let's pretend we are animating. If I pose the FK arm, Let's raise the palm, something like this. Make it look as though it's about to push something. So at this point, I want to switch to the IK arm so I can lock the hand's position. If I change this now, you see the arm blends back to where the IK arm is. This isn't ideal because I now have to spend time trying to get the IK arm to match the position of the FK arm so the animation is seamless. That's way off. As you can see, this can get tricky. And this is what IKFK matching is, having the ability to quickly get the IK arm to match the FK arm's pose, and then the FK arm to match the IK arm's pose. Let's undo all that and get the arm back to the bind pose. I need to see the base skeleton, so I'll just make that visible. What we need to do is find where the main IK and FK control arms are in the rig. Here we have the FK joints, and here are the IK joints. Now these are the ones which the bind skeleton blends between. Again, if you're not sure, please refer to my IK and FK video. Let's look at making the FK arm match the IK, and this is pretty easy with this setup because we can just match the FK controls to the IK joints transforms. Let's pose the IK arm first. Something simple like this will do. All we need to do now is select the FK shoulder control and then the IK humerus joint, which is the shoulder. Open the Match Transformations tool and tear that off, and select Match Transforms. Next, select the Elbow FK Control and then the IK Radius Joint, and match those. Finally, select the Wrist FK Control and then the IK Wrist Joint, and match those transforms too. OK, so now if I blend back to IK, we can see the two arms match perfectly. So we can now continue the animation using FK and the transition was seamless. I told you it was easy and it didn't take long. So it's something an animator could do themselves if they needed. When it comes to making the IK arm match the FK, things are a bit more complicated. We only have two controls to play with here, the wrist and the elbow control. The wrist can obviously match the FK wrist joint, but what about the elbow? We don't have a good point of reference for it. OK, let's reset the arm back to the bind pose. Just check those. OK, all good. What we need is to add something into the rig which we can use to reposition the elbow control when matching the IK arm to the FK one. Start by creating a locator and match its transforms to the elbow control. We'll just make this a little bigger so we can see it and rename it to left elbow position. Now 
We now need this to move with the FK arm, so parent it to the FK elbow joint. Do this on the control arm, not the bind skeleton. If this is a game rig, you want to keep the skeleton's hierarchy as clean as possible, so you don't hit any issues when exporting. Let's pose the FK arm again. You will see as I adjust the elbow control, the locator follows. Now let's get the IK arm to match this pose. Select the wrist FK joint on the arm control and then the IK wrist control. Again, use the match transformations tool. Oops, selected them the wrong way around. Okay, just undo that. Okay, select the IK control first and then the FK wrist and match transforms. That's the hand in position, so let's update the elbow now. Select the elbow control and then the new locator. Match those next. Now if I blend between the two, you can see they match perfectly. I'll just turn off the skeleton. Okay, looks good. Like I said earlier, this is a very simple approach to IKFK matching and it may not work on all rigs, but I tend to build all my rigs now, so this is an option without having to write any complex scripts. In this example, I've demonstrated this process with an arm, and we can use the same approach with a leg rig, but depending on how your rig is configured, it may need a bit more work. If you see, the IK foot control is oriented like this, so it's matching the world with Y up, Z forward and X to the side. For us to match this with the FK leg, the orientation needs to be the same as it is with the arm. If we check the FK leg, you can see it's different. And that's because we needed the IK control to be orientated to the world, whereas it doesn't really matter with the FK controls. So in this instance, I've added the knee position locator, which is just the same as the elbow one we used earlier. In addition to that, I also used an ankle position locator too. This is parented to the ankle FK joint on the control leg. I'll pose the FK leg now. OK, and switch to IK. I'll select the foot control and then the new ankle position locator. And match those. So the foot is now orientated correctly, even though the IK and FK ankles are different. That works. Blending between IK and FK seamlessly. Where's the knee control? Ah, there you are. Just match that to the knee position locator. Okay, all good. So, when it comes to the legs, the approach is the same. You just might need to add an extra locator to help with the ankle. As an extra bonus to this video, I've created a script to automate all this for you. It looks a bit scary, but I've tried to make it as generic as possible because your rigs will have different naming conventions and possibly different hierarchies. So all you need to do is go through and fill out the names. And don't worry, the script will save the names so you don't need to do this each time you want to use it. Here you add the IK control names. Obviously, if you're doing this on a leg rig, the elbow is the knee control and the wrist would be the main foot control. Over here you add the names of the control arm joints. And the FK arm controls up here. Again, if you're using this with a leg, the FK wrist joint would instead be the name of the ankle position locator. So that's the setup done. 
You can then generate the elbow locator with this button here. You can see that's been added and parented for us. So let's pose the FK arm again. And blend back to the IK arm. I want the IK arm to match the FK, so all I do is press the IK to FK button here, and that's done. Let's try it the other way. Just reset the FK arm. So now we want the FK arm to match the IK. So this time we press the FK to IK button. There we go, simple as that. If you want to download this script, simply head over to my coffee page. It's available exclusively to supporters and let me know what you think as I'm planning to continue to develop this tool further. I already have ideas to upgrade this so you can specify whether you're working on the left or right side and so it works better on leg rigs. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please let me know in the comments below. Also let me know if you have any questions and tell me what future videos you would like to see. And why not say thanks with a small donation via my coffee page. As always, remember to like this tutorial and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with future videos. This is AntCGI signing off and I will see you on the next one.